This is raised field shaping generator number five. Instead of a beam that brings an injector down, like in my previous generators, this uses a rotational input to turn the small generator. We'll get an overhead view. The injector bar that's rotational now, you can see how it's lined up. And I have the diagram. So we're going to have a small demo I'll put together and show you the principle of the OU event that I believe it is helping to power this device. Okay, I'm set up here with the demonstration. I have my little magnet car. I have a, on a level board and so any force coming in will show up as a forward motion. So this would be my generator magnet it would be on an arm spinning around. My circular input, rotary input, would be coming around this way. So what I'm wanting to show is there's very, very little, little input force to bring this into interaction. So if I have less input and more output, then that's an over unity event. So we'll go ahead and I have a match here for my level. So eventually I'll be testing for about the middle of the magnet. Seems to be about right, but I'm going to bring the uh, rot rotating input into this height in this area and see if there's any reaction forward or backwards. So I have a magnet, I have the south facing into the north. So as I come in, this would be my rotating input. So it's not pushing, it's not pulling. So I want to come in a little bit more about the middle of the magnet, if I can hold that correctly. So we've established that there is a very, very small input. So now we want to see if there's a larger output and that would qualify as an over unity event according to me. Okay, <clears throat> now we have it set up that the car will move easily this direction. And this will be testing for output. Here's my level, my matchstick, and I want to bring it in just right in the middle of this here. 
at this level. And we've established that there's very little, if any, uh, input force needed to bring it into the system. Now we're looking for uh, more output this way. If it doesn't move at all, that means we have no gain. So we had any force this way, and we're not having any force this way. But if we have little or no force this way, and we have force going this way, then I call that an overunity event. More power out than in. So there again, we'll be bringing the south face. And I'm going to hold my little car here. Okay. Now I want to come in this level, right about in the middle. board up, sorry. Okay. You can see as you come in to here. There we go. It's good to have this board level. First time I did I had I had my hand on it as I was going uphill. So you can see my level back there now. We've got level, so we'd be coming in this direction at this level. There we go. So here's our input, very, very little. And then here would be our output. So we do have more power coming out than in. So very little coming in. This is just on a small scale. On the machine that I have, it's uh, more power than that. So this gives you an idea. We'll go back and finish up. Here I have it set up so we can see it going through the uh, voltages again. It's firing every other cycle right now. Here's the way I start it. So about 4.9 is about the max there. Okay, we'll get an aerial view one more time. See how it's set up. This is my little uh, run motor. It's a small mini motor. It's the same as the uh, generator motor that I'm using. I have a hard time finding something like that, but if you get something in the ballpark. Okay, hope you enjoyed this. And this is Ray's. See the diagram one more time. Ray's Field Shaping Generator 5. Have a good day in Benning.